Aloha friends, Christina here, and today I'm going to share with you the top three mistakes that people make on a raw food diet, and I'll also share with you my key tips for success. I've been a raw vegan for over 18 years now, and it's completely changed my life. While some may call it a diet, I call it a lifestyle. Changing what I was eating not only helped me reverse my type 2 diabetes hyperglycemia, but it also awakened me and gave me so much more joy, purpose, and connection in my life. Food is medicine, and I truly believe that what we put into our bodies has the power to heal us and to make this world a better place. If you want to have success in this lifestyle, I pray you will really take these three lessons I'm going to share with you into consideration. They are game changers. I've seen many people come and go on this lifestyle, and the three commonalities I've found amongst most of them have been these three things I'm going to share with you today. You can have incredible success on this lifestyle, and just like with anything else in your life you want to master, truly master, it will take learning, unlearning, commitment, dedication, passion, practice, and time. First, I'm going to share with you my key tips. These are the best key tips. Then I'll share with you the top three most common mistakes I've seen. My key tip number one, what you remove from your diet is just as important as what you add in. Allow me to explain. I'm a huge advocate of encouraging people to eat one fully raw vegan meal a day. This can be a juice, smoothie, or salad. It's an action that helps you to build consistency and comfort within the lifestyle. That being said, you also have to remove the foods from your diet that might also be causing stress or other health issues in order for you to see results. You can't eat one raw vegan meal a day and expect it to completely change your life when you're still eating cheeseburgers and other processed foods throughout the day. Make bigger changes across the board accordingly. Start moving towards a whole foods, plant-based lifestyle. When you can't eat raw, eat clean cooked foods. Start simplifying. Every step you take towards cleaning up your diet will yield you results. The more seriously you take this and the more you commit, the better results you will see. Key tip number two, remove expectations and try not to put a timeline on your healing. Leave all your expectations at the door and allow your body to do what it does best, self-regenerate and heal. I often hear from newbies, I've been eating raw for two weeks and I still haven't lost weight, or I've been eating raw for a month and nothing's changed, I'm still experiencing this health issue. You can't put a timeline on your healing. Your body is going to go at its own pace and it will have its own agenda. Trust the process. If you're putting in the proper amount of time, commitment, effort, and work, there will be results. It took me a year and a half, a year and a half, to completely reverse my diabetes with only changing what I was eating. I was only 18 at the time, and my body only had 18 years of damage done to my body. So imagine if you're just beginning your journey at 30, 40, or 60 years old. Healing takes time. Also, your body might be healing many other things under the surface before it gets to the one agenda item that you want it to get to. Trust the process. Remove expectations. Focus on the journey not the destination. Have fun with the lifestyle. Find excitement in the learning and unlearning. You'll be pleasantly surprised at how much is revealed to you. Next key tip, pull together your resources and recipes. I can't stress this enough. Put together a list of your favorite resources that can keep you going back so that when days become stressful, you can rely upon these resources and stay true to yourself and to your commitment. Download my recipe app and use that as a resource. 
join my inner circle and join our live Zoom calls that we do twice a week. We do one on Sundays and one on Wednesdays. Use my website and online programs. Watch my free YouTube videos as a resource as well. I have almost 800 YouTube videos on my channel that you can watch and learn from anytime. Ultimately, what I'm trying to tell you is keep yourself inspired. Next key tip, find five to 10 recipes and make them on repeat. Find three breakfast, three lunch, and three dinner recipes and don't be afraid to enjoy them as much as you like. This allows you to get used to making these recipes. Don't worry about making a new recipe every day. Get the hang of eating raw vegan first before you try to do everything and make a million recipes. Take baby steps and master first what you can handle. You can grow and expand from there. My last key tip, build your raw food kitchen. Create a space in which you're excited to make delicious and colorful recipes. You want this experience to be fun, so create your own raw food kitchen. Invest in the tools you need to be successful at this. My top three recommendations for kitchen tools are first, a Vitamix blender, second, a Nama juicer, and third, a spiralizer. I have all of those linked below for you with discount links and codes. They're in the description, go check them out. I also just added a new online shop to my app with my favorite kitchen tools, so you can check that out as well. Now that I've shared with you my important key points, and trust me, there's a lot more. Those were just the ones I chose to share with you. Let's move on to the top three mistakes that people make on a raw food diet. Mistake number one not eating enough calories. This is the number one mistake people make when they first start eating a raw vegan diet. They do not consume enough calories. Raw living foods are naturally higher in water content and volume and lower in calories. So you actually have to eat more fruits and vegetables to get the energy or fuel you need for your body to thrive and to function at its optimum. Processed foods are higher in calorie and way smaller in volume. People are used to eating small portions and getting more than the calories that they need. Actually, this is why people are used to overeating calories and oftentimes still don't feel full. Not to mention, processed foods are usually very low in actual nutrient density. So you can eat a lot of calories with zero nutrition and never feel full, essentially. I call it the empty cookie syndrome. If you've ever seen one of my lives or joined one of my programs, then you know I talk all about the empty cookie syndrome. And it's a huge part of why so many struggle with the SAD diet or the standard American diet. People are used to eating empty calories. Not to mention, because these foods are so calorie heavy, making it easy to overeat, or to eat more calories than what you need, people often feel the need to restrict or to diet. This is exactly the opposite of a raw vegan lifestyle. When I talk about unlearning everything you've ever been taught before or unlearning how you've been conditioned to eat, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Raw living foods are about abundance, nutrition, color, vibrancy, and life. You actually have to eat more to get what you need, and you get to enjoy every bite without guilt, shame, or restriction. It's health freedom. I often talk about health freedom, and this is a big part of what I'm talking about. It's also having sovereignty over your food choices, and over what you put into your body. You can't just eat five apples in your day and expect it to be enough. Check out the meal plans on my recipe app and on my website. Each day has a proper amount of calories configured for you to be successful and satisfied in this lifestyle. You can also check out my online programs or use calorie counting apps like Chronometer to make sure you're getting enough calories in your day. Mistake number two, is avoiding fruit and eating too many nuts or seeds. Fruit is not your enemy. Many people are afraid of eating fruit because they've been told it has too much sugar and all that sugar is bad for you. 
The truth is, there's a difference between the simple, nutritious sugars in fruit versus the complex carbohydrates of other processed foods. Fruit has fiber, vitamins, and even protein, and it's hydrating for your body. When you go raw vegan, you're eliminating from your diet processed foods and also other complex carbohydrates that include breads, rice, pastas, etc., that would normally provide you with ample calories. If you're not consuming those other complex carbohydrates, you have to get your calories in from somewhere, and those calories must come from fruit. People assume they will starve if they only eat fruit or they think that there's too much sugar in fruit, so they try to get all of their calories from nuts and seeds. They try to overcompensate with nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds do not have as many vitamins and minerals as fruits do. Nuts and seeds are rich in fats. Only consuming nuts and seeds all day instead of enough calories from fruits, veggies, and greens will put you on a high fat diet. Fruits and greens are where it's at. Fruit is one of the most pure food sources you can put into your body. And when you get enough of it, it's so satiating and filling. Learn to consume more mono meals. It's easier than you think. If you have fruit sensitivities or health issues like diabetes, please, of course, consult with your doctor. You can also eat ample greens with your fruits to help slow down the absorption. I have many more videos on this and I recommend watching my most recent YouTube video on how to eat raw vegan naturally. There's a lot more to be discussed on this topic, so if you have questions for me, please join my inner circle group coaching calls and you can hop on and ask me directly. You can still eat nuts or seeds, just make sure that you're also eating enough fruit and enough greens. Fruits and greens should be the bulk of what you're eating in your day, Nuts and seeds are there to complement those fruits and greens. I've included a link for you to join my inner circle calls below and you can check it out in the description. Woo, it's getting a little dark out here. We better start mistake number three. Mistake number three, do not leave things to chance. Prepare for your success. Map out your days and build healthy habits. One of the biggest reasons people do not succeed at this lifestyle is because they do not plan. They don't do the necessary grocery shopping, they don't clean out their pantry, and they don't plan their meals out the day or week before. They don't plan and they assume everything will happen naturally or that it will come together by chance. Life is in session, so I say, so we have to prepare for these things if we want to be successful. When you're learning a new language, like this one, you have to build a new habit. You have to put in the forethought and the effort. You have to practice. Set yourself up for success by mapping out your meals in the day, making sure you have what you need, and even pre-planning for social scenarios and crazy busy days as well. I believe in you, you can do this. When you're afraid that you can't commit or if you're afraid to fail, plan. It's my biggest secret to success in this lifestyle. Prepare to plan or plan to fail. A few other bonus tips or important key points I want to share with you are the following. Supplement, get sleep, get sunshine, seek human connection, rest when needed, and exercise daily. Food is just one element on the spectrum of health. Be sure you're taking care of your body, your mind, and your spirit in every way possible that nourishes you. Ooh, I'm losing daylight here. <laughs> the sun is going down, and so I think it's time to wrap things up. Thank you for spending time with me tonight. If you have liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there's only more goodness to come. I have so many cool things in store to share with you. If you're looking for more raw vegan recipes or other raw vegan resources for you, please check out the links in the description below. Download my Fully Raw Recipe app. It has more than 500 raw vegan recipes on there for you with meal plans, shopping lists, and more. It will make your raw vegan experience that much easier. 
Also, if you're interested in getting a Vitamix, a Nama juicer, or any of these other tools I shared with you in this video, those are also linked below for you in the description as well. And have fun. Thank you all again so much for joining me in this video. I hope it inspires you to, at the very least, consume more raw vegan meals, eat one raw vegan meal a day, or transition into this lifestyle completely. I hope it inspires you and I hope it gives you the information and the tools that you need. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye.